Welcome to Ground Control. I finally did it. I finally did it. Brushless conversion of the Ishii Mini P51D Mustang. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so. This has been a long time coming, but it has been a very busy year for me, and I haven't had a lot of time to work on this stuff. I set aside a little bit of time, four or five evenings in a row, to get this brushless conversion completed. So, I'm not going to give you a lot of information on it, other than I'll tell you that it's still a 1S power system, but it's brushless. The motor and the prop should provide me with enough thrust to have a 1.1 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, which should provide enough thrust to do some decent aerobatics with it. Alright, I don't want to give you any more information on it because I don't even know if it's going to fly yet. This is going to be the remaking with the brushless power system. It is manual mode only. And I don't want to waste your time. And more importantly, I don't want to waste my time before we go out and test it and see if it's actually going to fly. So, let's go out and toss it in the air. I'll see you out in the field. Remaiden of the Ishin Mini P51D Mustang, now brushless. We've got wind of 4 to 6. Let's see if we can get it in the air, launching. Whoa. We're in the air. Looks like I need some more expo on my elevator. Holy crap, holy. <laughs> Whoa, I think that might have more power than it had stock. I think that might be why it seems so twitchy. It's moving a little faster through the air. Look at that. That's amazing. I, I was kind of worried I wouldn't have as much power with the brushless system as I did with the stock system. But that was pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've flown this, so I'm kind of getting used to it again, you know? Boy, it's quiet now, isn't it, with that brushless motor? <laughs> Big loops, guys. I think I am going to be happy with this, but I'm going to have to add some more expo to it compared to compared to uh, what I had with its stock. I didn't think about that, you know, before I brought it out, but I also didn't think it was going to, you know, have much more power than it had stock. But it certainly feels like it does. And this is just the 1S. I am really surprised by that. Look at that. Those are big wide loops, but it's a little twitchy. I am definitely going to have to, I am definitely going to have to add some expo to the control surfaces, but sweet. I think we are successful. And like I said, this is all manual mode now. There's no, this is not a gyro receiver. This is just a manual mode receiver. 
Isn't that cool? I'm running circuits here because I got that big ball of fire behind me. But I am, so far, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Split S. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. It, it really seems to pull it pretty well through the air. But it's a little twitchy, little twitchy. Wow, this is this is this is the most the best thrust to weight ratio I've had so far of a brush a one S brushless power system. Now the question is, how much flight time am I going to get out of it? Yeah, I think I've got my timer set for five minutes, and then. I will check the voltage left in the battery if I get the full five minutes. I've just got a little 360 in there, which is what I was flying with before. It still seems like it's got a pretty good rate of climb, doesn't it? And I'm starting to get my haptic. Gosh, I can't believe I had it in the air that long already. Man, that is sweet. <laughs> well, this turned out better than I thought it was going to. Oh, timer's elapsed. Okay, so let's see if we can bring it in on this dirt road, because I got the wind behind me right now. Whoop. Stole it at the end. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Boy, I'm going to put a little more Expo in it. And then I'm going to put it back in the air. And I will test the battery voltage to see how much voltage we have left in the cell. And let me see. I went about... Oh, I still had about 12 seconds, I think. No, it said it elapsed. So I guess I'm 12 seconds over. Yeah, so, so I had it in the air for, I guess, 5 minutes and 12 seconds. So... And it seemed to still have plenty of power. So that's awesome. All right. So I'll get the voltage off the battery. Uh, increase my Expo. Uh, put another battery pack in it. And we'll put it back in the air. Awesome. Okay. Flight number two. And I couldn't believe it. I checked the voltage on that battery after I landed. And I still had four volts in the cell. I did not think. That this power system was going to be that efficient but apparently it is which is awesome <laughs> let me get my uh rudder centered up here a little bit better okay all right so let's see if we get it in the air again launching I launched it at about 50, 55% throttle. I increased the, oh crap, what happened there? Looked like I had a servo stick on it. That was weird. Yeah, that was strange. Hip stall, maybe? Ooh, let me hit myself. Maybe I was just flying a little bit too slow. I don't know.
<laughs> that is too slick. I'm loving it. <laughs> that is too cool. Yeah, it does feel a lot better uh, with a little more expo in it. What do you think? I mean, except for that, I think I, I think I tip stalled it. I think I was flying just a little bit too slow with it. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome, guys. Pretty stable for a four to six mile per hour wind in full manual mode, isn't it? I think I've got to do something to better secure the wing plate to the fuselage though because when it when it hit over there it actually knocked the back, the back of the uh, wing plate loose so I need a better solution for that but I'm pretty pretty happy with it so far One S power system. I'm really, I'm really surprised. I am, I am really happy that this has got as much power on a one S power system as, as it does. And after this flight, I will meet you back at the hangar and I'll give you the details on it. Cause I did a lot of motor testing, motor and prop testing. Uh, before I decided which motor I was going to put in this, which motor and prop combination I was going to put in it, because I wanted, I really wanted to keep this a 1S system. You know, I just thought it was too small, too light for, for a 2S power system. Now it got somebody coming. But um, I am really, really happy, and I can't believe I still had four volts in the pack after that five-minute flight, and my haptic is going off right now. And I don't know if this person behind me is stopping or what. I think he's going through very, very slow. But look at that. I'm almost through my five minute flight here and there it goes. And I am still not having any problem pulling big wide loops. That is cool. Hee hee hee, successful. I'm glad I finally was able to set aside time to get this done. Okay, let's bring it in for a landing. Boom! And I will meet you back at the hangar, and I'll give you some more details on this little brushless P-51 Mustang. I am ecstatic how well this turned out. See you back at the hangar. Okay, so what did you guys think of the performance of this 1S brushless P-51 Mustang? That was absolutely awesome. This is another project that has surpassed my expectations on how it was going to perform and how efficient it was going to be on the battery. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe after um, a five-minute flight, I still had, over a five-minute flight, I still had four volts in the LiPo. 
I don't have a, a good way of measuring the amp draw on a 1S power system. I don't have anything that's accurate. So I had no idea you know, what to expect as far as efficiency on this power system. So I was um, surprised at the performance, the amount of power that it had. That beat my expectations and the efficiency of the power system has definitely beat my expectations. Okay. Before I give you more details on this, I want to say I want to thank my patrons because they contribute financially month after month after month to Ground Control RC, which helps make projects like this possible. So thank you, patrons. I want to thank those of you that have contributed via our PayPal um, donation link on our YouTube channel. Um, there's some generous people out there, and I, I certainly appreciate their generosity. That also helps do projects like this. I want to thank all my subscribers and viewers who use our affiliate links when they make their purchases. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. You get it for the exact same price, but it, it gives me a, a small commission off of the sale, and those funds help us do projects like this. So I want to thank you guys for that. And uh, did any one of you yell at me when I was flying toward the sun? I want to thank you for that, the ones that yelled at me keep me out of the sun because I don't want to lose another plane in there. Anyway, I bought all three versions of the Racer Star BR1206 motor. It comes in a 4500 kV, a 6000 kV, a 7500 kV version of that motor. I bought all three versions of that to see which one of those was going to be the best to use on a 1S brushless power system after performing extensive motor testing and prop testing on each one of those motors on 1S, 2S, and 3S power packs. What I ended up with, the best candidate that I had out of the three for this power system on a 1S LiPo was the Racer Star BR 1206 6000 kV motor with an HQ T mount 5030 prop. That's what the power system is. I have a 7 amp. DYS uh, Opto ESC that's powering this. As you can see, the, the ESC drives the motor very well. Um, I Yesterday on our Facebook page, I posted a link to a zip file that has all of the thrust data for the 1S, 2S, 3S testing with all the props that I also purchased to, be due, to do these tests. There's a link to a zip file that contains a PDF of each one of the motors, the 4500 kV, 6000 kV, 7500 kV motor. Okay, I, what I'm working on now is, is I'm, I'm going to do, I'll do a show and tell tutorial on the brushless conversion if you're interested in doing that. If you're not, then, you know, if there's not anybody out there that's interested in seeing the, the uh, show and tell tutorial on performing a brushless conversion on this, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I tried to take pictures of everything along the way to put together a conversion log that'll show you some of the details of what I did for the brushless conversion. The plane is three grams heavier than it was stock with a 360 milliamp hour one ass lipo. Stock, it was 58 grams. When I completed the brushless conversion, it was um, 61 grams all up weight, so three grams heavier. And the reason it's three grams heavier is I, I couldn't, I didn't have the components that I would have liked to use in it. Um, I like having a 1.7 gram servo for the ailerons, but you could definitely use a 1.3 gram servo for the elevator and for the rudder. But I, all I had, the smallest I had was 1.7 gram. So that increased the weight a bit. I could have used um, servo connectors for the motor and the ESC, but since it, the motor, I might use the motor for another project later on on a 2S or a 3S, I went ahead and put two millimeter bullets connectors on it. If I would have used servo pin connectors for it on a 1S, I would have saved weight there. The prop is much thicker than the stock prop. So it probably, I probably, if I would have done those things, I probably would have ended up one gram heavier than it was stock. 59 grams instead of 58. And 
and but you saw the performance, you saw the performance even with it being three grams heavier. I did tip stall it during that second flight. I made an abrupt turn without much speed and it tip stalled. So the rest of the flight, everything was, was peachy as long as I didn't slow down too much or make any abrupt turns. And um, the additional expo made it much, much smoother. So I'm really happy with the way it's performing. The amount of right angle and down angle that I have in the motor seem to be right on the mark. It looked like the rolls to the right were as fast as the rolls to the left. When I gave it full throttle and, and level flight, it didn't balloon up on me. It pretty much held its line, which tells me I've got the right amount of down angle on the motor. So I'm really happy with everything. Um, stay tuned. There's going to be more flights on this plane for sure. I'm having an absolute blast with it. So thank you guys for all your support. It really helps do projects like this because it's expensive, buying multiple motors, ESCs, props, etc. to find the best power system set up for planes like this. And I think this power system has worked out exceptionally. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the air.